guy who had this built was for a while the golden-haired savior of the studio. See, they ran into a string of duds, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, comes this guy's first major movie. It made a fortune. So after that, anything he wanted was his. The budget, no limit. So he goes nuts. He has this thing built for one shot. I saw it going up. I couldn't believe it. There had to be a half a dozen ways of doing this thing at one-tenth the price, but like with a lot of youngsters these days. You know, when success hits, it goes right to their heads. And this elevator shot is typical. Anyway, he calls the thing Rest in Peace, and that's where it went. R.I.P. Down the toilet. Total disaster. It was in the video stores a week after it opened. What happened to him? Curtains. Couldn't get arrested at any studio in town. You know, the last I heard, he was directing an episode of some crummy sitcom on TV. This shaft, it goes all the way up to the roof? Yeah. With the elevator inside? Right. Where's the elevator? Come on downstairs, I'll show you. There's the baby. The guy put in a camera, machine gun, couple of lights, and he rode it up to the roof to shoot the bad guys. I can't think what use this could be to you. We're looking at a homicide. Homicide, huh? Well, that's up my alley. What's the premise? What? The premise is the reason why you do the thing. It, it's how you start a script. Well, I don't know about your script, but this wasn't an accident. I don't get it. I mean, everybody liked that kid. You see those buttons? There's dust and cobwebs everywhere. None on those two buttons. And that crate's been moved recently. Look at the scratch marks in the dust before I touched it. Yeah, but nobody's used this thing in years. Well, we'll soon see. What did I tell you? Uh, maybe. And maybe not. See, this dust is all messed up. Mr. Ritter? I love clues. Yeah. Me too. Just one more thing.